everyone welcome to my channel um, I'm glad that you've joined me here today I'm glad that you've taken time out of your day you know to be here um, I do appreciate you all um, all of my you know returning viewers thank you so much for coming back and to anybody new who's watching welcome to the channel my name's Elaine and um, the channel called Silver Moonlight I do uploads um, two to three times a week and it's a lifestyle channel so I do videos on like lifestyle it can be anything it can be the home it can be fashion it can be beauty it can be um gardening it can be anything so if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love to have you subscribe um it's totally free um costs nothing and if you click the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll be reminded when I upload a video just in case you miss one you know um anyway I've been at Aldi and I just wanted to jump on and show you what um Aldi had in um, which I've managed to pick up. My first item is this liqueur and it's the Flawless Veil. Now this is the air dupe for the Laura Mercier powder so it's just the translucent powder and there's 30 milligrams in here. Sorry it's not milligrams. There's 30 grams in here. <laughs> so um, we'll just open the box and have a look. So it comes in this like nice packaging you know um looks quite high end doesn't it with the being in the black color i think things that's in black and gold always look a bit like you know high end and um, inside this is the powder so as i say it's 30 grams in here and it's got the rose go um the bronze colored lid on the top of it and it is just the white powder now this is a very very finely milled powder um I'm just going to try and sprinkle some out onto my hand. Oh, it's got a film more for the top, guys. If you just bear with me, I'll try and get this film off the top of it. So, guys, it's got the little holes in the top. You know, can you see that? Um, and, you know, the powder is, look, it's a very, very fine milled powder. It's so silky soft. It's beautiful. That's absolutely lovely. Now I use the Ben Nye powder um, and I do like the Ben Nye powder as well. But I'm looking forward to giving this one a try, you know. Because as I say, it's supposed to be the dupe for the Laura Mercier powder, which is far more expensive than this one. Uh, this one was 4 99 guys. So um, if you can't get it in your store, um, try online on Aldi online. Uh, you possibly can pick it up there i know i usually get my things from there you know i mean when i'm in getting my shopping if i see things i pick them up but if it's something in particular i know that olaplex is like a big thing at the minute um i've not seen it in in any of our aldi stores so um i probably look online to see if i can maybe order that online so yes guys this was 4.99 i'm sure it was yes 4.99 for that so I thought that was quite a bit of a bargain. You know, if it is as good as the Laura Mercier powder. But mind all the jibs are really, really good. You know. So um, I'm going to move on to my next item. And it's this um, foot cream. It's not foot cream, foot scrub. You know, I like the foot cream. You know, the Aldi foot cream, which is the jib for um, the Luxatan foot cream. Now this is the La Cura foot scrub. So I thought I'd pick that up. This was originally $2.99, guys. I've passed it by a few times and not bothered with it. And um, it, they'd reduced it to one forty nine. So I picked one up for me and I picked one up for Emma as well. Um, it's the, like the exfoliating foot scrub. I mean, it smells quite pleasant. It smells like the cream, to be fair. I'm sure it does. It's got shea butter in it. So um, I'm looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, it is quite gritty, you know, like what you would expect. But yeah, £1.49 for that, and in it is 300 milligrams, millilitres. <laughs> I'm getting all my measurements wrong this year, aren't I? <laughs> should be pounds and ounces, it really should. <laughs> all this metric, I don't know. <laughs> so it's 300 millilitres in there. So not bad for one pound forty nine. Mind it's not bad at two ninety nine either. But um, I was being a bit, bit um, stingy, I guess, and not paying the two ninety nine. But luckily for me, you know, because they did reduce it. 
Um, my next item is this Super Booster. Ooh, let's have a look. Super Booster. Now this is the hyaluronic acid. Now, honestly, guys, you can't have too much of this hyaluronic acid if you've got dry skin like me. You know, um, my skin dries out in a heartbeat. So um, I have to keep it, like, quite moisturised, you know. Um, honestly, sometimes, you know, when I don't moisturise, especially my arms, it's like you, you could sand a piece of wood on them, honestly. <laughs> They're so bad, man. They really are. Um, anyway, this Super Booster um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I thought I'd give that a go because I'm totally out of hyaluronic acid. Um, I do have it in some products, so, so I guess I'm getting it like in the Buffet. There's hyaluronic acid in there. In my uh, reefer cream, there's, um, there's hyaluronic acid in there. But um, as for a hyaluronic acid serum, I'd run out in the ordinary... I think I'm going to give the ordinary a break, you know, because I think you can have a skincare routine and then it stops working for you. And I think um, I'm at the end with the ordinary. I will use my products up where I've got at the minute and then I'm going to have a little bit of a switch. I already have in mind where I'm going to switch to. So that I'm probably share that with you, as, you know, after I've run out of my products and I will um, move on to the, my next skincare uh, regime. So I, as I say, I will share that with you when I do. So this is the hyaluronic acid and it's a 30 ml litre tube. It's in the um, amber bottle as well, so great to not let light get to it. But in all honesty, I keep mine totally away from any light. I don't keep it out at all, even a room light. I've got mine in a cupboard, you know, uh, in the dark. <laughs> and that's basically what you should do. Cool dark cupboard is great for beauty products. So there it is, it's just like a really, you know, can you see that? It's administered by a dropper, which, you know, is pretty much like the ordinary, isn't it? And brands like that. So I'm looking forward to using that, as I see it, um, hyaluronic acid. It just draws in um, moisture from the environment into your skin. You know, it helps plump it out. Uh, so, you know, it minimises, I guess, the look of wrinkles and things. So the booster serum was £3.29 and I believe that's the normal price of it. It wasn't reduced. That was like its 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 price what retails at. So next guys, I picked up this deodorant stick. Now I do use the um I'm sure it's sure, uh sure sure or soft and gentle. It's either sure or soft and gentle that I use. I can't remember. Um to be honest, I'll just use whichever one you know, I come across in the shop um, because I've, I've stopped using like the aerosols um, and I, I like the the roll-on deodorant now. Now this isn't a roll-on, this is a stick. It's a deodorant stick. So I think this will be um, dry quicker, you know, than the, the roll-on. Not that it bothers me, the roll-on, you know. But this one has a very, very soft, gentle, um, really really you can just pick it up do you know what i mean the fragrance it's not overpowering i don't want a deodorant that's like really that scented because you know i use perfume and i use body products that um has my perfume in it for like a layering effect if you know what i mean and guys if um if you haven't got a uh, any sort of moisturizer to match your perfume just spray some of your perfume into your moisturizer you know, just when, when it's on your hand, you know, when you put your moisturiser out, just squirt your perfume in and then put it on. And you get like a layering effect to your, to your, um, to your perfume, to your scent. So it, um, you know, it, it lasts longer. You know, the fragrance lasts longer on your body, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so this one, guys, it's um, cucumber and mint. And it is really, really fresh smell. You know, but like I say, I'm not overpowering because I don't like overpowering smells in products like that. I certainly don't want to smell it, you know, over my perfume. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yes, it's it's really nice. I'm going to see if I can wind it up so we can see how much we're getting here. It says there's 30 grams in, but we'll just have a look to see what a 30 grams looks like. I do think this is going to last a fair while, I guess. Oh, it's just keep going, going and going and going. Is it going to stop? 
how much it'll fall out of the flow. That's it guys. So that's it extended to its full capacity. So there's a fair bit on there, isn't there? Um, I need it for this weather, don't me? It's so, so warm. Still so warm. So yes, guys, 30 grams in the, in the cucumber and the mint fragrance. And this was 2 99 And um, you know, it's. I think it's going to last a, a little while, you know. I mean, I'm not going to be running out next week to buy it, you know, or even the next, you know, the following week. I think this is going to last a month, you know, easily. So, um, yeah, 2 99 that's not bad. Um, moving on. So, that sorry, that was all I got from Aldi just whilst I was in doing my shopping, you know. Um, I just can't keep out of their middle aisles. I mean, who can? Do you ever try his best to drag me past them, you know? And I'm like kicking and screaming like a child. <laughs> no, but have a look. <laughs> can't help myself. But there's just such good bargains. And you know, chances are, I wouldn't look. I'd be good and I'd be like, no, no, have a look, do you have it? And trot along behind him. And then my friend would say, oh, Elaine, did you say that in Aldi? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> You know, and then I blame David because <laughs> I missed it. So uh, these guys I've hauled in the past before. Now I've got one for home and I've got one for the caravan. And my son really liked it and he wanted it once. But at the time I couldn't find them. They've gotten them in again, guys. These little trees, you know, with a red diffuser, the little plant, the stone. You get the sand and the little tea light candle. It's all in there and it's really nice. Can you see it? It's really, really nice. It's nice as a little gift set as well. So, and I'm going to mention it because I'm getting my gifts in early and um, Christmas, you know, I'm actually, I might put this away for him as part of a Christmas present, you know, like a stocking filler. It's only seven pound guys. I might actually pick some up for a couple of friends as well, which I think would really, really like this. So a seven pound, that's all for that. It's really, really nice. Definite Christmas present. That. So, um, me and David haven't been getting over the caravan uh, recently because David, as you know, is doing the back garden, he's doing the decking every spare minute he gets, you know, like after work, he's um, he's working on it and he's working on it on a weekend. So, um, we're really busy and we just can't get over there. So, um, we went, we did have time off. I did, I did give him a break, guys. <laughs> I did let him have time off. But we went to the Rock and Gem Festival. It comes um, to Newcastle Race Course uh, once a year. And um, it, I mean, it's not as big as some of them, uh, Rock and Gem Festivals, you know, that uh, around the world. I know there's a big one in Munich, I believe it is, in like Germany. And there's a massive, massive, huge ones. And I mean, the biggest in the world, I think, in uh, Tucson, in Arizona. And I would love to go. But two things it's very very far away and um it's the plane plane journey and not just that the heat because arizona is a desert and uh, to be honest i'm struggling with this weather what we've got here at the minute you know it's just not equipped for it but uh, we went to the rock and gem festival here and i picked up a few nice pieces well do you ever pick them up for me actually i picked up um yeah no do you ever picked all of these up <laughs> i chose them and do you ever bought them so um, I'll start off with the biggest one. So the Rock and Gem Festival sells all sorts, guys. They do like geodes. They do um, all sorts of crystals and uh, semi-precious stones. They do precious stones as well. Um, they do, um, what else do they do? When it's all gems, they do beads. So if you're in uh, making necklaces and things like that, they do all the beads and the findings and things like that. Um, and it's just, it's a nice, light little day out. Um, it, there is an admission charge of five pound an hours up here in Newcastle Race Course. But they do go around um, the country as well. And I, I believe they're next in Harrogate, Yorkshire, next. So if you're anywhere near there, you know, just Google it, Rock and Gem Festival, uh, Rock and Gem Show. And uh, I will keep calling the festival. It used to be called the Rock and Gem Festival, but now it's called the Rock and Gem Show. Um, anywhere. So uh, my daughter, um, I did get, I did get a G-Wood before. It was quite a big G-Wood. And um, 
my daughter did um it was a dissertation actually for a uh, uni and um she did a story and in her story um because <clears throat> she did creative writing uh english literature and creative writing and for our story she did about um well in our story was about jewels and geodes and things like that so um when she graduated i gifted her my like a geode that i bought you know and i thought it just was so, so appropriate you know as a gift for our graduation um and i wanted to replace it you know because i wanted a geode as well anyway i've picked one up it's it's definitely not as nice as the one that um i gave to my daughter but it's still nice this one and i'm going to show you it it's like a surprise inside honestly so look at them you know if you haven't seen a geode before this is what they're like you know, it looks like it's fell from a, a fell from space, doesn't it, to the earth, and you crack it open with a hammer. I didn't crack this open. This was an opened one, um, but you can get them while you open open them yourself. So inside is just the crystals. You know, the sparkly crystals. Absolutely love these. Honestly, I could look at them all day long, and you know what? I would love to dig for them. I would absolutely love to dig for geodes. Um, obviously not in this country <laughs> because I come from quite far away, you know. I can't remember where this one comes from. Um, I really can't remember. I tell you what, there is so a lot of things come from Madagascar at the gem shows. Um, but that's it. It's just look at you. Just want to you want to walk inside of there, don't you? Miniaturize yourself and go like inside of it. I said, I'm a crackers, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, I paid £10 for this. So I'm going to display it, you know, somewhere. I'll find somewhere for it. But it's just beautiful. And I love how it, like, just fits together. Like you see it, it's just like a surprise every time you open it. £10, guys. I think it's just a nice ornament, you know. It's something that no one else is ever going to have. The shape or, you know... I mean, yes, there is other G words, but they're all unique, I guess is what I'm trying to say. They're all like a really new, unique piece. Um, moving on, I spotted this one as well, and I really liked it. It goes lovely with the colours in my living room. So it's this, I think it's fluorite, this one. So look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at the colours absolutely beautiful colours they're like teals and turquoises can you see just amazing I mean I think this come out the earth you know all of these gorgeous pieces are lying in the earth I just think it's amazing absolutely amazing now this one was £14 but it is heavy and it is quite big you know so I think that price is like a really really good price for that £14 for that and um, moving on to my next item because there is some more guys um, I've got a little baby geode look at this one it's so cute I couldn't resist it it's just a tiny little geode I mean look at it in the size of my hand just a little dinky one but again it's the surprise that you get when you open it are you ready guys that's it there. How gorgeous. I mean, sometimes the shapes of them like that remind me of a pair of lungs, don't they? But um, look at that. They're just sparkle and crystal, you know. Beautiful. And again, fits together. I can't wait till little Pippa comes along and like I show them the geodes because I'll be like, look, look, have a look inside. And when she, ah, don't know yet, but hmm, she opens it that's a surprise so yes that's a little g and that one was just three pound so a lovely like little display piece i'll probably take this one over to the caravan um, and and put it on my little tree you know that little the little tree where i've just shown you um next up is this other little piece as well this one's really nice because it's got different colors in it and this one's fluorite as well now, I like this because of the strata in it. Can you see? It's purple at the bottom. Well, actually, if you look, it's like purple. And then it goes into this, like, 
what turquoisey aqua blue um like goes in the tail doesn't it it's just i could look at these all day you know i'm mesmerized by them i just find them so fascinating and at the top can you see it's got like a little um different color at the top there so that's going to be lovely on a display and this one oh how much was this one it wasn't very expensive this i think it was about five pound for that one so not badly priced at all i'm sure this one was five pound um i do i mean i didn't pick these up this time at the rock and germ festival i do have other pieces actually i want to show you that piece because that's quite nice i've got a few you know i've got amethyst and all sorts um but i do keep rose quartz as well i've got a chunk of rose quartz here this is quite light and i've got this one here this one's more of like a purpley color um can you see that one this one's like more purplish hue to it than this one and i keep this one at my front door and i keep this one at my back door and it um keeps out negativity out of the house so that's why i keep them at the doors um and my daughter she picked me up this it was a, a gift i can't remember if it was for christmas it possibly was but she got it at one of these like gem shows and it's an amethyst and that's it there can you see it it's a wire wrapped amethyst on a silver chain i mean it's not not real silver chain but how nice is that it's just dead like rustic isn't it and i like to wear this when i feel like really run down in energy and then um, i will put like this on and um i don't know if maybe it's just like mind you know mind over matter but I do feel a bit more energised. Um, they do say crystals have healing powers. I always keep an open mind about things like that, you know. You just never know, do you? I am in the alternative medic medicines and, um, you know, hom homeopathy treatments, things like that. Right, guys, I just wanted to show you another piece that I picked up from the Rock and Gem Festival. This was last year. I picked this one up. Now, I absolutely love this. I can't remember what they call it, though, but it's beautiful. Look at it. I mean, it, it's cut really nice as well. But what this reminds me of is uh, the sea and the sand. You know, on somewhere like the Maldives, like a really, really tropical beach, you know. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I do remember this was £14, but I can't remember what they called it. Um, It might be L Larimar. It could be Larimar, actually. I think it is. Um... But it's just, it's beautiful and you can pick up all these kind of pieces, even bigger than these, you know. Um, but obviously the cost goes up, you know, the bigger the piece, the higher the cost. And guys, I want to show you this one. Because we actually found this in our back garden when we were digging the foundations um, to build the um, extension. Now, we, we actually did dig the foundations ourselves, you know, because we did a lot of the build ourselves, like as much as we could do. You know, we did get some trades people in at some point and our, our project managed it. It was the first thing I'd ever project managed like that and apparently I did a really good job. <laughs> right, so I'll show you this. I mean, it's this. I have no idea what it is, but this is what we dug out. It's a, it's a, a, a rock you know a coloured rock but look at it so if you know what this is I mean look at the strata in it it does need um a good clean you know literally it's been left out in the garden I mean there's some sawdust on it off where idea if it's been um cleaning but look maybe you can clean this bit off it, it's hard I don't know what it is it might need chiseling off but yeah we'll come across this really blue rock so um i've no idea and we also um found we found quite a few interesting things actually when we were digging we found pieces of pottery and we found um a pipe you know a lady's clear pipe you know what ladies used to uh, smoke pipes in the days so we found a clear a lady's clear pipe as well i did keep it i don't know where i've put it guys but i have um 
still got that because I thought oh I wonder if the museum will be interested in it but it is just the bottom piece of the pipe it hasn't got like the the tube piece of it and we came across newspapers um from oh the 50s you know there was newspaper stuffed everywhere in the house like stuffed in all, all different crevices as a kind of draft proofing because well people didn't have like um you know access to mud like what we have today in draft proofing you know all the materials so they just used what they had and newspaper was the thing so we pulled um some newspaper like newspaper was everywhere i mean but guys some of them were big sheets you know double sheets of newspaper and we had fun i mean i did especially because these shops and things that was advertising in the, the sun well it was the sun and echo and some of them were like they're no longer here and um and that but i remember them you know, um, if you're from Sunday, like books, fashions, places like that. David didn't know these shops because David's not from here. Um, but, you know, for me, it was like, hey, I remember that. Hey, I remember that. And there was um, advertisements like for Annabelle's and Lestrade, uh, the rink. You know, if the dance, there were dance halls. So, uh, yeah, from the 50s, we kept that, those as well. I mean, I don't think... Um, anywhere would be interested in them like museums or anything like that but we just kept them you know in case you know so we might find somebody who is interested in them and if not well wait i'm certainly interested in them i love history um anyway guys this has become like a really long um rambly haul hasn't it <laughs> it must be the heat <laughs> we'll blame the heat um thank you for joining me guys um i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video okay bye for now bye